America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with, I just bought a new range or dryer, doesn't matter, they're the same, on how, and what kind of cord and how do I hook it up? We're going to do that. Now, there are two kinds of cords, okay? You have your, actually there's four kinds of cords, but two are the same. You have your three-prong cord, and then you have your four-prong cord, okay? Now, the difference is, this has a... 110 leg, 110 leg, a ground, and a neutral. Okay, where this one has a 110 leg, a 110 leg, and a ground and neutral combined. Okay, there is a difference in them. Okay, on this one, like I said, I have three wires 110 leg, 110 leg, and this is my neutral slash ground. And this one, they're nice and color coded for me, which makes it a whole lot easier. I've got a red, a black, a white, and a green. 110 leg, 110 leg. My white is always going to be neutral, okay, when I'm dealing with house power. And my green is obviously for ground. Now, you ask, why do I need a ground and a neutral? Well, technically, you do and don't. What I mean by that is, a lot of the older houses, the neutrals were did not have to have neutral, it had basically two legs and a ground. The ground was actually the case of the box it went into, which was grounded back out at the panel box. Nowadays, with modern technology, we have a separate ground and a separate neutral ran in each box, okay? They both will work depending on what your need is, okay? And what I mean by that, I will show you here. We're going to use the four prong, okay? Now, if you look, it does have a diagram down here on how you're supposed to hook up a three wire connector versus a four wire connector. Yeah, you're like me, I'm not gonna pay much attention to that either. Okay, so we're gonna do it the visual way. Now, for most applications, all you're gonna need is either gonna be a Phillips screwdriver or a quarter inch nut driver, okay? Pretty much all you're gonna need. Now, there are some applications on ranges which you are actually going to need a three eighths socket to get the actual bolt up. You'll know that when you get there. We'll deal with that sometime later. So what I want to do is I want to remove the electrical cover. And voila, we have our electrical box. This is where we're going to hook up the power. Now, if you'll notice, we here have a wire, okay? This white is tied into this neutral here. What this is doing, this is actually grounding the whole case, okay? So, if we're using a three wire, like this one, we're going to basically leave this one intact, okay? Now, how do I know which is which, okay? Well, if you look at this, I have a black leg, a white leg, and a red leg, okay? Most all manufacturers will actually show you the colors, so if I was using my 40 amp plug here, match your colors up. Black, white, red, and hey, green, so put your colors together, okay? But if I have the three wire, okay, what I want to remember is, this is something that I've learned, power on the outside, neutral in the middle. And what I mean by that is, these are my two powers, they're on the outside, my neutral's in the middle, okay? And yes, they do run up and they do match outside, outside, middle, okay? So it does, a, your cord will have that. So, connected it, it's actually pretty easy. And what I mean by quarter of Phillips, if you look in here, that's actually a quarter inch head bit or it has a Phillips bit on the inside, whichever you prefer. I prefer a quarter inch if I have it because I get more traction on this than I do on my Phillips. So I'm gonna take my quarter inch, okay. I'll get about most of the way out. I'm not going to pull my stick, I'm gonna put my finger on it and then I'm going to continue pulling it out until it actually comes out so I can hold on to it. Yes, because if it goes down in there, you have a problem. You can't just put any kind of screw in there because that is a certain thread screw, okay? Now, if you put a wrong thread in there, you may get it in, but you're never gonna get it out and it may not make good connection, which means you're gonna have problems, which means I'm gonna be coming out your house to fix the problem you just made. So now what I wanna do is, I want to determine if I'm using a three or a four wire. If I'm using my three wire, I'm going to basically line it up and I have power, power, neutral. And I'm going to go here, here, and here, and I'm gonna screw it back in, just like this, okay? My neutral's always gonna be in the middle, and I'm going to leave my ground intact. Now, if I'm gonna use my four wire, okay, this is where it gets a little more difficult, a little, little interesting. Now, I'm going to want to take this off. 
Now, this is an odd size screw most of the time. This is actually a 5 16 head screw. So I'm gonna have to use my Phillips to get this one off or get my nut driver and put a 5 16 bit on. I'm gonna use my four wire. I want to make sure that I take this internal grounding wire off. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to cut it off. I'm not gonna do anything like that. What I'm going to do is, I am going to combine this with my neutral here. Basically making a loop which isn't gonna hurt anything, okay? So what I would do is, I always try and start with my neutral. I want it attached first so that way, if by some goofy chance, electricity happens to hit this or I'm going through and something happens, the electricity has somewhere else to go besides in me because getting shocked ain't a whole lot of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, now you notice, I've got a you know, flat side and a non-flat, or a little stick out. You always kind of want to put the flat side down. Just makes it a little easier to screw in and doesn't actually bend that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my screw in, okay, here. I'm going to combine this one to this one, okay, separate a little bit, and then we're going to carefully, without dropping the screw, and this can be a little bit of fun, I'm going to use my quarter inch on this one because I get a little better, a little better connection on it. Okay, I'm going to get it and put it in. Okay, now you want to do this with your fingers. If it doesn't go in finger tight, you're not lined up right, you're going to strip it. So I should be able to take it 95% of the way in. Once I get resistance, just a little bit of a tug. Don't get stupid. If you're going to use a drill, there's a good chance you're going to strip it. I don't use a drill much at all. So now I'm going to go, if you can see the colors of these, now you can barely see them in here. I've got a little red wire and a little black wire right there. I'm going to try and match up my colors just because it's easier that way. If you can't see the color, it doesn't matter if this is black or red or if this is black or red. That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is they're not touching, they're not combined with the neutral. So I can be red or black here. I can be red or black here. Then give it a solid lead off. A good squeeze, but don't be Arnold and, you know, rip the thing a new one. And then finally, okay, this is going to, I'm going to screw this one in over here. Okay. And that's where my big green comes in. So this is actually just for demonstration purposes, but it would work if I plugged it in. What I want to see is I don't want to be able to move my wires left or right. If I can move my wires left or right, now, there's a little movement in here, that's gonna happen, that's the design. But, you see, my wire doesn't go like this. If I can do this with my wire, you're not tight enough. Give it another quarter to half a turn until you can't do this. I want these things solid. So that one's not, see how that one? This is what I mean by left and right. That's not tight. So I'm gonna come back in here, give it another half turn, get it to where I can't move it. And then, I would basically push these wires in, and then I will put my cover back over that, and we're basically done. And while I'm putting this all back together, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'll have more good information for you next week. So you folks have a good week. See you then.